The Lord gave me three visions this morning. They may all resonate with your spirit or maybe just one. But always take everything back to the Lord for confirmation and prayer. What if today was the day? Are you truly ready? Have you made room for what I want to give you? What if today was the day? Would you recognize it? One moment you are waiting, the next you are in it. What would you do if today was the day? Would you be open to vulnerability? Would you be completely transparent? What if today was the day? Are you truly ready to embrace the promise without limitation? Because the promise requires the full truth. The promise requires love. You have to look deeper than before. There's always more to the sign and even more to the revelation. What if Boaz was Ruth and Ruth was Boaz? Would your petition change? Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, one will lift up his companion. But woe to him who is alone when he falls, for he has no one to help him up. What if your proximity to God has now made you the head and not the tail? What if it has placed you above and not beneath? Will your love be long-suffering? A new chance at love, a new chance at life, requires the revelation that you have a new mind. The enemies you saw before, you will not see again. This time, instead of shame, you will receive a double portion. Where there was once resistance, now there is submission. Where there was once scorn, now there is respect. Hope deferred made the heart sick, but this desire will be fulfilled and will be a tree of life. Set apart, because how can two walk together unless they agree? Some watch to judge, while others watch to reveal. Some observe how one moves, while others observe why one moves. Some only look in one direction and miss the opportunities they were looking for. But if the opportunity was missed, that only confirms that it wasn't God's choice. Dreams bring visions. Visions can help you prepare for the things that are to come. If you have a weakness, stay away from temptation. God always provides you a way out. He is the way. Fix your eyes on God. Blessings and opportunities can become burdens. Always remember you are never alone. Remember where your strength comes from. God's grace is sufficient. His power is made perfect in weakness. You call it pure. They say it's defiled. You see the beauty. They see the ashes. They have lost hope, but you can see the signs of life. They see the impossible, but you see God. Blessed are the eyes which see the things you see. Blessed are those who trust in the Lord.